Hi everyone. Oops. Welcome to Center of Balance and Acupuncture TCM. I'm Sunan Pua, the acupuncturist and Chinese medicine herbalist. So last time we talked about um, men and fertility testing. And today I'm going to talk about female infertility testing. So we're gonna include um, what sort of testing uh, you're going to get and when do you, when should you see a doctor to discuss about the um, infertility testing? And um, apart from in the Western medicine, the testing in Western medicine, and what about in Chinese medicine? What sort of testing that are we going to use or apply for, for our patient, right? So, um, so yeah, we're gonna include Chinese medicine and Western medicine testing. Um, so a woman, a woman's fertility begins to decrease following at the age of about 30. A woman under 35 should visit a doctor after one year of trying to get pregnant. So while woman, um, 35 um, and over, if it's over 35, then you should visit a doctor after six months of trying. Um, so your doctor will first take your medical history, like uh, same as in uh, Chinese medicine, will take your medical history. So um, the doctor, they will ask about current state of your health, your sexual his history and any conditions or illness that could contribute to infertility. Now in our clinic, what we do is we actually have a form that you have to fill in um, that we talk about and on those form and we, yeah, we collect the information about your, um, your health, your general health and uh, sexual history and any condition or illness that we need. Would they be able to, would they would we think about, are they going to contribute with your infertility? So for an example, like over here, this is this is the testing that we do. We, by asking a question, we understand what, what thing that um, we, we lead, what your conditions relate to your organs, okay? Um, let's say um, if you have headaches, with the, you know, people get migraine, get headache, right? And some people get um, migraine once a month that is due to period. You know, when you have menstruation, you, you get period and you get headaches, you get migraine and that indicate hormone issues, right? So that, when that indicate hormone issues and we link to your period, we know that is something wrong in there. So we need to figure out what's going on with which organs. So it could be the heart, it could be stomach and spleen, it could be kidney or liver or even lung. So we need to figure out where, what causing your migraine every month that when you have your period. Then once we sort out your migraine, it looks like it's a general health, but they actually link to your infertility. Right? Once we get rid of the migraine, then that means that your hormone is balanced. That means that the organ is balanced again, we function properly again. So that could be the one of the reasons that interfere with your fertility health. Okay, the fertility health. Okay, then. Um, on the Western doctor, they will perform an examination of your pelvic area to check your abnormalities um, such as fibroids or conditions such as endometriosis or PID. Then in this part in Chinese medicine, we actually uh, refer you to um, a fertility uh, doctor that will perform some further testing, like x-ray, things like that. We'll talk about that later on. Um, so your doctor will want to see if you are 
ovulating. We want to see that too uh, every month. And we want to know that too um, as an acupuncturist if we treat infertility patients. Um, this can be determined with an at-home ovulation testing kit. Um, that kind of thing, okay? There's a lot of whole, um, uh, uh, different kits that you can figure out the hormone uh, you can test it uh, at home. So we, we, we suggest that. Um, and apart from, there, there are a lot, okay? Um, ovulation uh, testing kits, uh, testing the hormone uh, through, um, uh, yeah, can you can do it at home. Um, more further that, um, apart from that, we actually asking our patient to do uh, BBT. BBT means uh, basal body temperature. And we'll give you a chart. So you every morning that you uh, put the thermometer under your tongue and then take it out for a few minutes or five minutes and then take down the reading every day, put it in the chart. And there's an, an app as well. We suggest uh, Fertility Friends. Uh, if you go to fertilityfriends.com, uh, download the app and then you can just put all the data into it and then we can see the temperature change. Then we'd be able to tell whether your ovulation or not from the chart, BBT chart we call it. Um, apart from that, of course, we ask you to do uh, blood tests. So in, in, the, in the lab and that could tell whether you ovulation or not. And for the Western doctor, what they do at the moment, they uh, mainly ask you to do um, blood tests. They don't, I, I haven't seen a lot of, you know, uh, fertility doctor that suggests to do ovulation testing kits. But that's very common, actually. It's very common you do this kit, kit uh, ovulation testing kits at home and using um, uh, BBT and BBT is something that we we definitely suggest for our patient because this is the easier way. For you know, you just, it, it only costs um, um, a thermometer, and every morning you just do it. You know, and we, we have a we have a, a, a paper to tell you how to take the chart and what to what to do step by step. You know, for home ovulation testing kits. Um, uh, you can do that too, and it's not must, you know, but we suggest you do that too, so you can we get BBT chart and the ovulation, form ovulation uh, testing kits. So two of them, we put it together, so we figure out when you ovulation. For the ovulation, uh, you can also um, look at the uh, cervical mucus. Some of the mucus, and we'll show you how to, we'll not show you, we teach you, we give you the knowledge how to test it. Uh, there are a lot of knowledge you can Google it as well. Um, okay, next. We, and sometime, apart from what we just mentioned, um, an ultrasound may also be used to uh, examine, examine uh, the ovaries and uterus. And other common tests for women, including uh, that is more on the Western doctor side, but we acupuncturists, fertility acupuncturists and fertility Chinese medicine herbalists, we do recommend to do those tests as well. And one of the tests is uh, x-ray. Uh, x-ray used to uh, evaluate uh, the Philippine tubes and uterus. Okay, so that is important too. And what if your Philippian tube, um, you know, block? Then we need to understand that, right? Uh, we use the ultrasound to be able to help with that as well. And laparoscopy, uh, which used a camera to examine the internal organs. So normally this part is going to uh, see whether you have um, 
you suffer from endometriosis, right? And that is the only way to figure out endometriosis because endometriosis could be with a lot of pain during your period or before your period, you know, and, and in general, you get a lot of tummy pain. That's the main sign. But they, there is um, silent endometriosis, which means you don't get any pain at all. It's silent. And that could be one of the um, main reasons that uh, prevent you to get pregnant. And that the only way to go through it is for um, laparoscopy, right? That's the only way. Um, yeah. So in the end, to be honest, if we see a patient and we try for acupuncture or Chinese surgeon, try uh, IVF will also think, and it's not successful. And we will actually suggest uh, laparoscopy because this, this is the only way to figure out whether you suffer from silent endometriosis or not. Okay. Um, ovaries, uh, for the ultrasounds that we use that to uh, figure out the ovaries, whether you have PCO, like uh, uh, PCOs uh, stand for uh, polycystic ovaries, right? So it can find out whether you have cysts in the ovaries or not. And as well as on the uterus and um, whether they have fibroids or not, right? Um, ovarian reserve testing, that is a blood test and which use uh, a combination of hormone tests to determine a woman's potential of conceiving. The relevant tests, including the follicle stimulating hormone, which is called FSH, right? So those are the exam um, lab tests that uh, I just mentioned about that is used, are useful for um, to figure out what's going on, what uh, what causing your uh, infertility, right? So whether it's the Western side or in the Chinese medicine, the acupuncture side, and we do agree with those tests and we use that too. Well, although we, in New Zealand, I always suggest my patient, there's a list of um, tests you should do, but it doesn't mean you have to do everything, you know, we have to pick the right one for you to do. But basically the, the blood test is, is common, everyone do that, you know, but not, not for the uh, reposcopy or x-ray or ultrasound. Not every patient need that, okay? Not like you, okay, I can't get, I'm, I'm um, below 35 years old. If you're below 35 years old and then you, um, you've you been trying for one year, about one year and you need to do all the tests, I just suggest not like that definitely not like that. Or you are over 35 years old uh, after six months of trying and you need to do all the tests I just mentioned, not like this, you know. The most common that everyone need to do that is the blood test. That's it, blood test, okay? Not for the x-ray, ultrasound, that's too far, okay? We need to, first we need to figure, figure out we need to ask question. You need to get a consultation with us or with the doc, fertility doctor. Then we go through all the questionnaire. We collect all the information and we will suggest you whether you need, you know, us work to get a X-ray or ultrasound to rule out some issues, things like that. Okay. Um, next, talk about Chinese medicine. So we call about testing, right? Like our testing, what do we do in, in our field in, in the testing? You know, in the old time, we don't have blood tests. We don't have uh, reproscopy and x-ray, ultrasound. We don't have that kind of thing. We don't even have ovulation testing kits. What we do, simply asking the question. <clears throat> to figure that out, the testing for us is simply ask the question. We figure out what organs are the better. A kidney and bladder and kidney function, it control reproductive system. So there are a lot of kidney function there. You need to ask, do you go up to 
get up to go to the toilet at night time when you go for urine do you do, do can you empty properly you know how often do you go and uh, as a urine smell things like that right and or uh, the liver control the, the liver control uh, uh, and go to the pelvic part and we will ask about the emotion over here. Do we get angry, depression, irritability, stress, or impatient? A little kidney that is fear. Do we get scared easily? Things like that to figure out which organs causing it. Right, that's one thing. And then we ask you the test. Thing we ask you to do is a BBT chart. You know, take your body, facial body temperature, and then uh, to give you the information about how to look at the um use the um what we call uh cervical mucus to figure out where when do you actually ovulate it right those are the tests that we can do without going to a uh, blood test things like this the old time that we do that and we still apply those because they are very helpful all right now um i think that's it for today uh i'm sinan Pong from center of balance the acupuncturist and uh, tc uh, ACU TCM school. Now, if you are uh, a patient, if you like to know more, please follow us. Uh, if you need to um, get an appointment, our contact detail is down there or up there. If you're an acupuncturist, you want to learn more, please follow us and share this live video as well. And uh, on YouTube, please uh, open, uh, turn on the uh, notification bell. Uh, something like that and keep following us and we have online courses that are for practitioner if you want to learn more um, email us thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye bye